We've all gone bats. Want to know how to make this bat brooch or a pendant? Let's find out. Hi, it's Pam Duffy and it's a Thursday so it must be another needle felting tutorial. Every Thursday I make needle felting tutorials so if this is something you're interested in don't forget come back every Thursday and right now in the run-up to Halloween we're in our creepy Halloween series so if you want to learn more creepy Halloween makes including my eyeballs then don't forget to check the playlist above. So if you watch the Tim Burton movie Nightmare Before Christmas and if you haven't seriously go do it right now awesome film but the main character Character, Jack Skellington. If you have a close-up look at him, his costume, he has a dapper bow tie and if you look really close you'll see that that bow tie is actually a bat. Now over the years I've made quite a few Jack Skellington figurines. He is so fun to make and I've already shown you how to make his face if you want to have a look here. Just a reminder obviously these are copyrighted images and you can't sell them as your own work but they're great fun to make. But I thought from his outfit his bat bow tie is actually also a really great beginner level needle felting tutorial to get you a quick sculpture that you could attach to a brooch pin or felt a jump ring onto to make into a bead and that would complement so many Halloween outfits. So how do we make this bat? Let's find out. Okay so for this little guy what we're looking at first of all is with some black fleece I'm forming a circular pillowy shape rather like the love heart so if you haven't looked at that video have a look but basically it's going to be from the front a, a circular shape just now with rounded flattened side on view kind of oval from the side on and as I'm felt in it I'm starting to see one bottom piece that one piece that's looking more like the bottom which is pointed down the way and then I'm moving on to making the ears which is away from the pointed down the way I'm squeezing between my fingers two points up the way as you can see so what we're going to have is a kind of pointy love heart shape so you just want a gentle point at the bottom and then two sharp points upwards at the top and you're just squidging between your fingers to make this shape and then felting around keep in thinking of the curved shape because it is a head so it's curving from the bottom of the chin all the way up and the curve sort of tapers off at about where the ears start so remember just keep your needle at right angles where you want the surface to be keep on felting keep on thinking of the shape I took a good 20 minutes to get to this stage and then we're going to go on to the eyes now I'm pinching off three bits of fleece because then I can choose the bits that are the best size the best similar size you roll them between your fingers and then at the last second roll them backwards and forwards and that creates this kind of pointed oval shape which we're just then going to point we're then going to felt on to the bat's face And that's, that's the head pretty much done. Take as long as you need to to make this really firm though because if it is going to be a brooch it's going to take a bit of wear and tear really so the firmer it is the longer it will last. And for the wings I'm just taking a pipe cleaners and I'm cutting them into three different lengths. The top's going to be the shortest, the middle's the longest and then the base is the medium length and just duplicate that for the other side. So we've got six different lengths and I'm going to fold over the ends. This just means when you're working with this, you know, once it's made, you don't have any jaggy ends of wire. They're all tucked away so it's nice and safe for everybody. And then we just want to cover these with a bit of fleece. Now if you have a roving or a tops this is a bit easier but the bats felt easier so I've just kind of drafted out a straight line section and I'm wrapping it tightly around the pipe cleaner. Now this doesn't have to be neat at this stage it's just to hold and I'm just giving it a couple of stabs to get it to hold and then do that with all of the all of the I was going to call them legs but all of the bits now I'm just going to make a wee pattern on a bit of paper so setting up the wings how I'm going to want them to be which is turning these ends just down curving them down slightly and I'm just drawing around this as just fairly roughly and the most important bit is just slightly down the down the gap a wee bit I'm just basically drawing a curve to connect them up and then I'm going to take this pattern and I'm going to cut it out on just a regular piece of acrylic felt. I've folded it in half 
so that I'm cutting it on the fold so I've got a gap for where the head's going to be but it's all connected into one piece the two wings and then a space for the head and it can be fairly rough because we're still going to do a bit of felting on this the great thing is even this cheap out acrylic fleece from the craft store well acrylic felt it is feltable there is still a little bit of work you can do in it so when I open this out you can see the two sides of the wing and space for the head so bung the head on and then pop in the I don't know I suppose you'd call these veins for the wings I'm not sure the technical terms the fingers call them the fingers pop them into, into place and I'm just going to felt through the fleece on top into the felt underneath and just get them connected to each other and this is one time that I would use a stabbing cushion because it's just a little bit easier to get everything tacked in place take your time and make sure that everything's connected but remember if you're using a stabbing if you're using a stabbing cushion you have to pick up every now and again so that you don't actually get your piece stuck into the cushion I get carried away sometimes and if you're felting a lot in the same place you sort of felt a bit of the cushion into your piece and when you pick it up it kind of tears off a bit of cushion which is not ideal so remember if you're felting a lot in the same place keep picking it up every so often once these are in place we're just going to pop the head on top oh tell a lie no i forgot what i was doing there no what i'm doing here is i'm just taking the very ends where the fleece is connecting to the tip of these fingers and i'm just felting it round the ends just keeping it between my fingers so that this blends in a little bit more as you can see we've got a smooth line now where the, the felt fits onto the fits onto the pipe cleaners and now i'm popping the head on and just felting all the way through into the back so that it's all felted firmly together and then flipping it over more importantly felting through from the back to the front as well just be careful not to push your needle all the way through else you'll start to be pulling fiber out the front of his face which you don't really want and there you have it that's all you need to do to make yourself a nice little bat So I hope that was helpful. If you do decide to make any makes from my tutorials, please don't forget to let me see them. I love to see your work. And don't forget to come back every Thursday and hit subscribe. Thank you so much. See you next time.